Welcome back, everyone. I'm Professor Joshua James from the Legal Informatics and Forensic Science Institute at Hallam University in South Korea. This course, or this video, is going to be about an introduction to research, and specifically how to get started with your research. So uh, we have a lot more research students coming into our program now, and um, many of them have never even, even thought about really starting a, a real research project before. Um, so uh, this course is really made for them to think about how to get started in your research and what are some ways that can help you um, whenever you're just starting out doing uh, research projects and, and papers. And also, what is the, um, uh, I guess, method that you can use to generate research ideas? How should you be thinking about those research ideas? And potentially, what tools can you use um, to help you actually complete your research and hopefully eventually get it published? Um, so this course is is general. I might give some very specific uh, examples sometimes about digital forensics or cybercrime investigation because that's what we do in our lab primarily. But really these videos are for anyone who uh, is interested in doing research, is interested in starting research, or maybe doesn't know where to begin. So I'll be posting these videos um, also on YouTube. Feel free to follow, uh, follow me on YouTube if you want to see all of these videos. But I'm also I'm doing something a little bit different this time. Since I want to structure this a little bit more um, like a course, I'm also using uh, Google Classroom, and you can find the link to Google Classroom and how to join the class below. Uh, basically, it's the same videos, it's just uh, you'll get a few more resources about what to read um, and things from Google Classroom, and you can use the same account that you would use on Google. So um, feel free to follow me on Google, uh, Google Classroom. Feel free to follow me on YouTube. Um, if you want to get more updates on this introduction class. Um, some of the things we'll be talking about uh, is starting out research. Um, what is the goal of, of doing research? What um, Once you have this goal, what tools can you use to get yourself organized, get your research organized, um, to get your thinking organized about actually doing the research? Um, what are the different methods that you can use to do research? Uh, and when do you normally apply them? For example, we're normally in engineering, um, so engineering, computer science. So we have a slightly different method, for example, than you would in biology. Now, scientific method might be the same, but uh, the process and the kind of end results might be a little bit different sometimes, or the way we um, show the results could be quite different sometimes. Um, and then after that, uh, how to... Uh, organize your research so that way you can actually understand your findings and then how to eventually uh, produce results or, or, or give those results to the rest of the world usually through publication or maybe social media videos things like that so we'll talk about each of these different steps that a new researcher would normally go through um, hopefully from from first to last uh, on Google Classroom I'll be posting um, a lot of links to different articles that are quite um, Quite well written about about the subject um, and then we'll of course have videos um, talking about each of the subjects and specifically videos on how to use different research oriented tools um, we'll be talking a lot about software uh, data management that kind of thing okay so uh, that's uh, the basic idea for this course it's free for everyone feel free to go to Google classroom and, and join um, for my students, you have to go to Google Classroom and join, so um, I, I hope to see you there. Um, I hope this is a really good resource for anyone who is just starting a career or starting to think about research or wanting maybe to get a refresher about how the research process goes. Okay, so thank you very much.